welcome to a tutorial on the spreadsheet portion of Watchdog. This video will show how we analyze and input data from FRC Crescendo matches. This video will be very similar to last year's tutorial, but with a few changed features and statistics. So first is the setup sheet, and on the left of the sheet you can see all of the teams in the competition, and although we only have 7 teams here, you can input a total of 100 teams. You can also input your match schedule in the middle section, and there is also a leaderboard of names of people who have scouted matches during this competition. The first thing you will need to do with this spreadsheet is to click the Generate Team Sheets button. You will need to enable macros in order to run the programs on the spreadsheet, and when you click the button, it will show the number of teams and then generate the appropriate amount of sheets for the competition. This macro does take quite a while to run, and you should probably do this before the beginning of the competition. Do make sure that the individual sheet is unhidden while you run the macro, otherwise this macro will not work. So, these sheets that are generated are will store the individual data for each of the teams in the competition. And although they are not usually referenced, they are useful sheets as a place to store everything and perform calculations. After you're done generating the team sheets, you can hide the individual sheets along with the team sheets. After this, you can look in Team Finder to see all the calculations and statistics for the team for both pit scouting and match scouting. And you can use the drop-down menu to check the stats for all of the teams in the competition. In order to input data, you scan the tablets that team members use to scout. And when you scan them, they look like strings, as shown here. And to expand the data, you can use the expand data macro, which is over here. And this is the same for pit scouting. So now you can see the data for 1712 has been expanded. And also, you can also see that the data for 1712 has been entered into the Team Finder spreadsheet. There are also many sheets used to compare teams, not just to input and analyze data. One of these sheets is the Summary Statistics Sheet, which shows all of the team calculations in one place. Um, for example, if you want to see median points, you can just see clearly that Team 1712 did the best, or, or median pieces, where 1712 got three median speakers in Teleop. Um, sort Stats is another one of the sheets that we use to analyze the data and compare teams, where you can sort teams by metric that you are looking for. So, for example, you can sort them by median pieces in auto, and it shows the median pieces of auto in descending order. You can also sort them in ascending order, and it goes the other way. Another tool we have is visualization graphs. So first things first, you have to adjust the left graph to the number shown below. The statement, adjust the size of the graph before using. As you can see, we have, adjust, we have adjusted this number into the same number here. The visualization graphs allow us to compare multiple different variables to all of the recorded teams. You can also use visualization graphs too to see compare one stat with one team. In addition, we also have a sheet for match planning, which uses the match schedule inputted in setup to organize the information based on the match number. After putting in the data in, in setup and choosing a match number, for example, we can choose match number one, you can see the stats of the alliance team and the stats of the opponent alliance team. We also have some hidden sheets 
um, which include visualization data, data accuracy checking, and defense by alliance. Visualization data is just the data that is used in the graphs from earlier. Data accuracy shows our scouted data versus what the blue alliance has, and it lets us know how much error we got in our scouting data. Defense by alliance shows how much how much defense has affected our alliance scores if they got defended against if they didn't get defended. All of the information in these sheets are just all calculations, and the results can be viewed inside of summary statistics. This is just a general overview of how to use the system, and we hope this will be helpful. Thank you for your time.